Welcome to day 14 of your Realtor Video Bootcamp. This is Jenny Aldrady with Lux Mortgage Team, and George and I are glad you're here. As always, we love helping you grow your business. So if you have a home buyer in need of a home loan, we would love to be of assistance. Okay, at this point, I know a lot of you are behind. So today is the day for some of you to catch up. And the good news is if you really focus and you time block, you can do that relatively quickly. And for those of you who are caught up, we're actually not going to do any video today. Instead, we're going to focus on the following. So, so far, we've talked about time blocking. You should be making your birthday video and you should be sending that out every single day. You should be doing your 10, 10, 10. And then, of course, anytime you post, you need to make sure if someone's commenting that you're replying to any of those comments. But now I want you to take social media and I want you to look at it as a news feed and a look and a peek into the world of those people that you care about. It's pretty amazing if you think about it. There was a time when we really couldn't know what was going on in the lives of the people around us unless we happened to run into them, we were hanging out with them, or unless they called us or we called them. So your job over the next four days, at least depending on when you're watching this, we have Easter break coming up, is to go buy some simple note cards at the dollar store on Amazon. And during your time blocking period, you're going to look through Facebook or Instagram And you're going to see what's happening in the lives of those people that you care about the most, the people that you really want to deepen the relationship with, and the people you want to get to know better. So every single day, you're just going to be scrolling through your feed while you're doing your 10, 10, 10. And you're just going to find one person, something that's happening in their life that you're authentically happy for them, or maybe you just want to let them know that you're thinking about them. And you're going to write them a quick note. Hey, I saw that Brian broke his arm. I hope he's feeling better. I can't believe that that happened. Love, Jenny. At the end of the five days, you'll send out all the cards. Now, if sending out cards is too much for you and you just know you won't do it, then send DMs or text messages or video messages. But just start to deepen those connections. Or if they're some of your top, top past clients, maybe send them something a little special. Maybe they're about to plan a family trip to Colorado. So you send them a map of really cool places to hike. It doesn't have to be expensive. It just has to be thoughtful. The whole point of this is I want you to really focus on the fact that commenting is more important than contenting. You don't need to listen to all the experts where they're saying that you have to post five, six times a day or even every day, but you do need to be having conversations and getting people to know, like, and trust you and be in flow with people every single day. And the reason why I love social media is you can do this very quickly and efficiently, and you can still do it in a very genuine manner if you do it in the way I just mentioned. And I'm not saying that this is going to completely replace face-to-face, but it certainly is a strategy that can help add to what you're already doing. And I'll tell you this right now, the majority of the business that we do currently, we've never met our clients or our realtor partners in person. So if you're older like me and you can't possibly fathom how people can make such a connection and want to do business with people that they've never met, let me give you two reasons why. Besides all the scientific ones I gave you in the very beginning. One is that our clients are getting younger and younger, and they grew up on social media. This is how they connect. Have you seen them? Literally by taking screenshots of their faces. They don't even have to say anything. They make friends with people before they ever meet. That's how they choose their college roommates. The way people communicate, the way people date, the way people meet the people they're going to marry has changed. The world is changing. The second reason was COVID. Before COVID, most people did business in person. They went to the office, they met for coffee, and then the world completely shut down. And we didn't have that option anymore. So what did we do? Everyone jumped on Zoom or FaceTime and social media. I actually put a contract on a house without ever stepping foot in it. A lot of people did. So people learned how to communicate online, face-to-face, screen-to-screen. The world was changed forever. And as a result, you don't have to waste time in traffic. Okay, that's something that I love. You can be truly efficient and people have learned to communicate and connect more than ever on social media. So take today just to connect. And as always, text me with any questions.